So again, here we are, the La Brea tar pits. I know I said that like three, four times already, but, <laughs> but check this out. Isn't that beautiful? Let's take a picture. Don't snap them. But it's a full museum down there. Uh, you can go in there and you can see the bones and stuff that they've dug up out of the La Brea tar pits. I mean, because it is, they found a lot of dinosaur bones here at the tar pits. And, uh, you know, they, it's natural tar coming up out the ground. So we're going to watch it. We're going to walk and see and find some of it. I'm tripping up today, but uh, it's all good. Like I said, I went for a hike earlier today. So I'm a bit tired, but it's okay. We're going to still get out here and have a good time. Alright, let's keep looking. So this area is called Lake Pits. Now what it is, Lake Pit. You see, if you look really closely, you can see the water, water boiling over there, bubbling up, not boiling, bubbling up. That is natural tar seeping from the ground. It's bubbling up in the water, uh, in the ground. The fence is here to keep people from, from getting in it. So here they found all these animals are the animals that they found in this tar pit. So imagine billions of years ago falling into this pit and can't get out these were these these are, are recreations of course but uh, these animals were actual animals that met their end right here in the La Brea tar pits okay, let's keep going so again right here on this street here this is La Brea there were well no I'm sorry this is not La Brea this is Wilshire this street here and the street over from here is La Brea. But right here, they filmed the movie um, Volcano. Right here on this street, right here in this area. And so, and so we're gonna go see if we can find a couple of those spots. But again, if you look closer, you can see where the oil is. The tar is bubbling up in here. Matter of fact, if you look closely, right here, there's actually some tar on the ground. Okay, let's see if we can keep walking, find some more stuff. This is a better look from the outside of the actual museum. Again, it's it's a great place. And you know the grounds here is something like a like a um, actual um, park is what I'm trying to say. I got distracted by the tree there for a second. But oh man, it smells so strong of tar. Look at this. I mean you guys Remember, this is right in the middle of Los Angeles. Right smack dab in the middle of Los Angeles. And so, to have a spot like this where it's tar just bubbling. Imagine being here in the 1920s or something like that. And walking past this or coming here and seeing that this was a natural tar area. And as you walk and we keep looking, we'll find spots where... The tar is actually coming up out the ground. Yeah, I'm out of, the, I mean, out of the ground right around us. Uh, matter of fact, there's a spot right there where this lady is standing. There's a spot right there. Where go. I don't like to get in the way of people, but uh, she's gonna keep walking. So we're gonna go over here and look at it real quick. But uh, yeah, right here. Pretty gross. 
this. It's coming up out the ground. It is weirdly coming up out the ground. As crazy as that may seem. Look over there. Over there. I have learned that every spot you see the cones, that's tar coming up out the ground. So there's two spots right there. Uh, there was that spot there that which the lady was doing. There's two more spots on the other side. Uh, so there's spots where the oil, I mean, oil of the tar is, is actually coming out of the ground. So let's keep walking. Let's keep going. Here's another spot. Okay. Tar is naturally coming out the ground. Just bubbling up out the ground. Actually, really cool. But we're gonna keep going and see what we can find. See if there's some, something more interesting around right here. Let's keep going. So, here's a pit right here where they have located, not located, where they found the hooked bill monster bird, is what it's called. Literally, is what it's called the hooked bill monster bird. And again, you can see right here in the water, uh, most of this water came from the rain that we just had, but you can see the tar still bubbling coming up out the ground uh, of course you can't see the, the uh, remains but this is pit three to four <laughs> there's another pit here let's see what we can see let's keep going so here's pit 91 these are all the remains of certain animals they found here I'm not gonna read it all so you guys can take a look at it uh, on your own, but this is what it is, and we're gonna go inside. So if you look closely, you can kind of see some bones sticking up out of there. But look at the tar bubble. And this stuff has been here for millions of years. And this is just, it amazes me. And we're here just excavating this place. keep going this is uh fossil crates where they have the fossils at uh, you can apparently you can't tell what's in them but it doesn't matter champion sprint sprinter and spitter <laughs> they do spit at you salama
There's someone hard at work. Let's see if we can see something. Couldn't really see myself, but I hope you can see something. There they are over here. Hard at work. I think it's great. And then let's turn around over here. We got pit number nine. I know that was an abrupt nine, but I was almost at 19. <laughs> we go again with more tar, more. It's just, it's amazing to me. There's more tar bubbling up out the ground. All right, let's keep going. All right, here's the last big pit I'm gonna film right now. But this is the well armored gentle giant, whatever that's supposed to mean. But again, it's just another pit. This is where they found him at. I think it's great. I mean, I, I really do. I think this is amazing. That this is here, you know, and just imagine how much more is below us. And they've been excavating this place for a long time, a lot of years. This is like the 40s. They've been excavating this place, maybe even longer than that. But look at that, more tar just coming up out the ground. This is great. It's freaking amazing. My shoes are muddy now. Let me get off this mud. <laughs> but it is absolutely great. So let's keep going. There's pit 23. I was print pit 13. Let's keep going. They're doing so much construction. Over there is the Lackland Museum. It's a great museum. Also, the Oscar Museum is over there. It's a great museum as well. We're not going there today either, but there we go. All right, let's keep pushing. Okay, guys, we have seen just about everything over here at the La Brea Tar Pits. I was going to do more, but it's been a long morning already, so we're going to call this the end of the video. So I thank you guys again for tuning in and checking out this channel, and I'm hoping everything looks good on this one because I bought a new camera, so I'm using it as well as my other camera, so I'm hoping they, they mesh together pretty decently, but... Either way it go, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Wait, Have You Seen This? I love this place. This place is very beautiful. And, I mean, what else can you say? It's, it's a great place to come and relax. It's uh, just a beautiful area. It's been a beautiful day. And I'm just glad I've said beautiful like 90 times right now. But, anyways, thank you guys for joining me again. Hey, click, click the subscribe button. Hit the icon. Uh, the bell icon i am messing up so bad right now so click subscribe and like and hit the bell icon so you'll know when the next episode come on guys do it for me it helps out it helps the channel and i love you guys there's nothing you can do about it so i know i said that was it but look at this more tar isn't that crazy wow but that's great one last shot. Look at that beautiful building. All right, guys. We're out of here.